Good afternoon and welcome to another segment of the story behind the songs. I am Pastor Debbie Upton from Center and Swatch United Methodist Churches and I'm so glad that you could join me during uh, during this episode or this uh, session. Um, the story we're going to be looking at is the apocalyptic visioned uh, we shall or shall we gather at the river a hymn um, by Robert Lowry um, in our United Methodist hymn book uh, 723. Again, as I've said before, the information comes from Dr. Michael Hahn, who is uh, the professor of church music at Perkin, Perkins School of Theology, and um, he wrote several. Um, articles for the the UMC discipleship website concerning hymns. Shall we gather at the river where bright angel feet have trod with its crystal tide forever flowing by the throne of God? Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne of God. Robert Lowry lived uh, between 1826 and 1819. And he has provided several hymns for uh, text and tunes for our United States. The original hymn it was uh, Mutual Recognition in the Hereafter, um, and it appeared in a hymn book called Happy Voices in 1865. The images were drawn from Revelations 22, verses 1 through 2. The angel showed me a river of wa a water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street, city, the street of the city. And on either side of the river is a tree of life and twelve kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Lowry describes the genesis of this particular hymn. Uh, one afternoon in July 1864, when I was pastor at Hanson Place Baptist Church in Brooklyn, the weather was oppressively hot, and I was lying on a lounge in the uh, state of a physical exhaustion. My imagination began to take itself wings. Visions of the future passed before me with startling vividness. The imagery of the apocalypse took the form of a tabo brightness of all that were on the throne, the heavenly river, and the gathering of the saints. I began to wonder why the hymn writers had said so much about the river of death and so little about the pure water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and the Lamb. I mused the words began to construct themselves. They became the fir first as a question of a Christian inquiry. Shall we gather? They broke into a chorus, yes, we'll gather, and on this question and answer, the hymn developed itself, and the music came with the hymn. The Philadelphia-born author and composer of this hymn was a popular Baptist preacher and educator who served in Westchester, Pennsylvania, New York City, and Plainfield, New Jersey. Lowry was a graduate at the University of Lewisburg in Pennsylvania. It's now called Bucknell University. He later taught as a professor of bells and letters there and received an honorary Doctor of Divinity degree from the university in 1875. He became known for his gospel songs while ministering in Brooklyn, collaborating often with William H. Doan and producing some of the most popular Sunday school song collections of his day. In many ways, At the River had become an icon of the 19th century gospel song. The hymn has appeared in many movies, but none more, more appropriately than the 1985 Academy Award winning trip, The Trip to Bountiful. The two famous American composers arranged this hymn, Charles Ives and Aaron Copland, the later including it in his solo collections of old American songs. The United States Army Corps sang at the funeral of Associate Justice William O. Douglas at the National Presbyterian Church in Washington, D.C. in 1980. The fourth original stanza omitted in most hymnals appears to both visual and aural senses. 
At the smiling of the river, mirror of the Savior's face, saints whom death will never sever, lift their songs of saving grace. And perhaps it's, it is appropriate that we will be singing this hymn this Sunday as we celebrate All Saints Sunday and remember the saints that have gone before us and long for the time when we will join them one day in heaven. Um, I'm going to play the, the stanza, and I would love for you to join me at home. Shall we gather at the river? Shall we gather at the river where bright angel feet have trod with its crystal tide forever flowing by the throne of God? Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river. I think one of the most beautiful settings I ever sang this uh, with hundreds of United Methodists in Louisiana when one particular year we had a gathering at the river, the Mississippi River. And it made me realize that the joy that we have here on earth is only a small sample of what it will be like when we join together. I hope you'll join us either by Zoom or Facebook Live on Sunday. Our Zoom services are at 8.30 and 10.30. Uh, Facebook Live is at 10.30 and our in-person worship at Center is at 10.30. I hope you'll join us. And if you can't, then I hope that you will think this Sunday about all of the saints that helped you in your journey toward Jesus and have helped you since then as well. Thank you for joining me and have a wonderful day.